Hi guys, you're watching Andrew's Vintage Toys. Like and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to Andrew's Vintage Toys. And today, I got another Ford video of my dad's 1969 Ford 120. And to, what is going on here is, as you've seen in my last video on this, uh, we got it running, we worked on it that whole day, and now it's the next day after I've recorded that video. And we are currently tearing it down again because... We have to replace the belt. We gotta get a new idler pulley that goes right there. Uh, we are going to change the fluids in the rear end. And so that's what's happening right now. But now we gotta go to Tractor Supply and go see if they have a belt and hopefully an idler pulley. And yeah, and I'll uh, see you guys when I get back. Well, me and my dad just got back from Tractor Supply. We got Lucky, and they had the pulley, which is right there. This. Yep. And I will sh give you guys the dimensions. So, that is the idler pulley. It's a 5 inch by 5 8 bore, as you guys can see on the price tag. Alright. So, we got that. And then, we also got the belt for it which is a 5 8 by 73 inch V belt and we also picked up this shift lever knob right here because right there we don't have one so hopefully this will work but my dad just got done putting on the outdoor pulley of off camera because I didn't show it as you guys saw from this clip but Yes, that's on. And then, also, before I started the video earlier, we went ahead and took all this apart right here. And we got Fender seat pan sitting back here. So, that's that. But, so that's where we're at so far. And... I'll show you guys more of the parking brake setup. So there's this long rod that goes all the way from this bunch of stuff, and it's actually right there. And we're missing that on here, but since I had my parts tractor, we got all that stuff back on, and it works good like you guys saw in my last video of this tractor. But now we are going to attempt to put on this belt. So... See you guys when we're done. Right, guys, we just got the belt back on. Now we did go an inch shorter because we measured the belt that was on here. It was a 74 inch 5 eighths, but we went with a 73 inch by 5 eighths. And it fits nice and snug on there. So we got the belt on and yeah. And you can also... And what it did is the pedal used to be right here. So now with the shorter belt, it's a little bit more realistic being at this point. Yep. And then we're going to change that spring. Right there, guys. Because it's a little on the weak side. Yes. And then we should be all be good. Yeah. And by the way, we forgot to check this pulley before we went to the store because we needed this one. Yes. Well, now, this one is bad, but it's not sloppy enough to where we can't drive it. Yep. So stay tuned, guys, for us changing the pulley on that if you guys want to see that. Yep. But that's what we have so far. And... Yeah, but anyways, like my dad was saying, this used to be straight up, and now when you look at pictures of look, these tractors on Google, they're all angled more down. Yeah. So now it looks it's more a lot better. Yeah. Yep. Yep. See, very little. Yep. And it's done, and now there's more tension on the spring. On the spring because the pedal is only being allowed to come up at a shorter height than what it used to be before, at a higher height yes. when the pedal is back here. But that spring goes all the way from the top, right there, that little hole, all the way to right into that hole in the back, bottom, right there. Yeah. And, yeah. Excellent. Yes. Yep. 73 mm -hmm. works beautiful. Yep. So, you guys are watching this, wondering what belt size you need. Uh, just head on up to Tractor Supply. This video is not sponsored by Tractor Supply. 
Um, just head on up to Track Supply and get yourself a Husky 5 8 by 73 inch belt, V belt. Right there. Right there. 5 8 by 73 inch V belt. Yep. And you're all good to go. Works perfect. Yes. But, yeah. And it'll be less belt bounce. Yep. And also, earlier off camera, before I started the video, um, we had to change that piece like i said in my last video and it is where's it's in the pouch the pouch right here this pouch all right yeah. all right i got it now all right so here is our old one and if you look at it there is no ring left in that hole to keep the ball in so we had to change that but we got a new one well new for us but it's an original one off of ebay and we put it on today so now the tractor won't get stuck in reverse at certain times but yeah all right a little bit of grease on <coughs> So now, should we test and see if that uh, shifter works? Works? Why? Yes, we can. All right. So my dad is now going to open the shifter knob. Luckily, this package opens up where you don't have to destroy it. Yep. And there's our knob. Now all we got to do is just hope that it fits. Oh, oh, it fit. Ooh. Other one. Other one. Oh. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm old. <laughs> Does it think, work? Yes, it does. Oh, cool. All we got to do is tighten it down. Yeah, I think that's actually the stop. I didn't even know it, it can go more. Oh, really? There. Huh. Look at that. That's perfect. Now I don't have to pay three times as much from one of these local restoration suppliers. Yes, his, he's on Facebook. He's got tons of repop restoration parts for these tractors. Josh Devin at, at on Facebook and that's actually where we got that gas cap from so thanks to him it's a very nice quality made gas cap yes thank you very much yep so yeah that's what we got so far guys and uh, yep. yep oh we also have to get Find a new one of these plugs new one of these. for the electric clutch PTO. And it was getting chewed up by this mesh that was sharp. And it was also getting burned Burn by the muffler. By the muffler. Because that was such a bright idea to leave the muffler right there. Yeah. <laughs> but it was supposed to stay right in that little clip right there. But no, nope. It got uh, left loose and yeah. there's the other one down there. But yeah. So hopefully we can get another one of those. Oh, and another thing we might do to this. I just thought of this now. What? Putting a chrome stack up. Yeah, what would you guys think if we put a chrome stack pipe on a this? A stack pipe that goes straight up. Yes. Let us know in the comment section. This is awesome, Andrew. Yeah. This is cool. Yes, now the belt won't... Uh... It won't slip. Yep. It was slipping. Yeah, last night... Um, when we got it going, when we were driving around, yeah. the belt was slipping. Yep. So, yeah. Now there's way better tension. Yep. On here, the belt. Yes. And, yeah, yeah that should be good. Yep. Because the other belt was uh, very worn out. Yes, and very. And very glazed up on the V part. Yep. That v. Yep. So. The old belt was very shiny along here, so. That didn't help. Nope. Plus, it was narrower because it was worn out. Very worn. Yep. Yep. And it was an old Napa belt. Yeah. Very old Napa belt. Yes. Very, very old. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. And it's currently raining outside, guys, now. So if you hear, like, weird background noise, it's because it's raining out. I'm so glad we got this. Yeah. This is awesome. Yes, it is. Now it'll work nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Tractor supply. Thank you. 
Yes, thank you, some tra tra thank you, Tractor Supply. And if anybody has one of these tractors that's going to be viewing this video, this is the shifter knob I bought from Tractor Supply. Yep, and it's only five dollars. Works perfect. Yep. But yeah, should we put it back together now? No. No? We gotta drain, the, yeah. we should drain the engine oil. Yep. We really need to drain that. The, the fluid out of this hydrostatic unit. Yes. We'll and this over. is the axle, axle. That's the actual. That uses gear dope. Yes. And there's one of the drain plugs right there. And then once we drain the fluid out of this, this cover comes off. And we can clean the filter out. And we out. can clean it all out. And there's a filter in there that needs to be cleaned out. Yes. And I think it's plugged up. Yep. Oh, we so earlier when we were taking this apart, we uh, came across this very weird looking bolt. So if any of y'all in the comments who know about these tractors, please let us know what this is because we do not know what it's for and it looks very important. Like, very important. Because this is a very odd looking bolt. Bolt. Yes. But, please let us know if you know what it is. Uh, but yeah, guys. I think that's about it. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well guys, thank you all for tuning in. And stay tuned for more videos on this and more videos coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and leave a comment letting us know what you guys would think about the stack pipe and if you know what that special bolt is. Um, but yeah, guys. And I'll see you later. <laughs>